Hello Capricorn, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your reading. This will be for September 2nd through the 12th. Just general messages here, whatever the universe wants you to know. We'll be doing the Celtic cross spread. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What do they need to know please? September 2nd through the 12th. If you are interested in the extended, uh, you can find there's some type of blockages that you guys and challenges that you are trying to look on. You can find the link in the description box before, uh, below if you are interested. What does Capricorn need to know, please? What's going on with Capricorns? One more. Queen of Swords. Hmm. I feel like the Queen of Swords uh, with the Ace of Cups is trying um, or to hold their feelings or is afraid of being vulnerable. There's this new law for some of you here as well. It's uh, When I was free shuffling, this Nine of Swords came out with the Devil and the Four of Swords I felt like was this obsession, but at the same time it was like attachment, obsession, worry. Let's see. Let's see what the spread has to say. But with the Queen of Swords and Ace of Cups, I feel like someone here is trying not to uh, be vulnerable. Or someone has love for that Queen of Swords, we will see. But a lot of worry, a lot of overthinking, uh, even obsessive thinking, I feel I'm getting there. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is your overall situation. Now, this may be you because it's all in your own element. Or you may be dealing with someone. It doesn't matter. This is the overall. We're talking about someone here that is very grounded. This is also someone that is very much always worried about the material. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. The material world. Uh, the stability. The security. What's challenging you or whoever you're connecting? The Page of Swords. Okay. There's a little bit uh, with this, for some of you, maybe an age difference. Also, there's been some type of, and I feel communication is hard because, again, of the elements that I'm dealing uh, here with the King of Pentacles, the worry that we had before. The Page of Swords is someone here that wants to open up, wants to look at the truth. Maybe in, there's some type of, you know, watching, researching. We will see. This is what's crossing uh, this King of Pentacles. Information, communication, keeping tabs. Trying to find out certain things. Yeah, we, for some of you, strong social media interaction for some of you. But mostly it has to do with some type of communication. This is at the root of this. is happening because of swift, quick communication. Remember I said that seven of wands, like you are trying to overcome the obstacles. The obstacle here or challenge is that someone here, again, this is a very grounded energy, that king of pentacles, does not rush usually. We have Mercury in Sagittarius, which is quick, bold, you know, I'm going to say it, and that's it. It's, it's feeling like someone here like wants to, is trying to kind of gather information. There was a choice here. Someone was trying to... Um, make a move or a choice in the recent past like i'm here but i want to go there it may be between two people here someone may have chosen in the past a certain situation okay this is what's going on though this is you capricorn because when i ask this question here uh, it's like what do you see possible or in the situation what is currently going on and what can you you know look at the best possible outcome. In your mind right now, you're trying to avoid certain situation. I'm getting, doesn't necessarily feel spying here, but I feel like someone is keeping tabs and wants to open up or wants to say something. In your mind, you are not revealing much or you're trying to gather information without being seen and kind of, I'll take this and you know that there's something that cannot be out in the open. If this is not you, you might feel like your person has this attitude here or the situation Okay, there the seven of wands uh, is here again. It feels like, okay, this is what I have to overcome. Because you want to come here. This is at the heart. You want this communication or things to happen quickly and swift. But there's more blockages here that you feel like, okay, I have to surpass all of these things that are coming towards me. I'm above all of this. I can stand my ground here and um, overcome all these challenges. 
this may be also that someone is coming here and, uh, and challenging you as well. There's an opposition energy. You uh, have the emperor in your attitude, Aristorus for some of you, but um, I'm getting that you're really trying to control this. You're trying to put order. You're trying to be firm in whatever it is here that you have made a choice or you're trying a lot of uh, fire energy, by the way, that you're thinking. So you're standing firmly in your attitude. The King of Swords surrounds you. This may be how someone sees you or this is someone here that uh, it looks like a very much intellectual personality, someone that is very smart, someone that also is thinking logically here. Again, this may be how they see you or this is what surrounds you. We will see when we clarify because I feel like that's a very uh, also with this attitude, very firm foundation. You're hoping for the Eight of Pentacles so you want certain things here. If it is regarding work, you're hoping that things will improve progress, uh, putting effort. You might be feeling that the best situation here is just to focus on yourself. But also, if this is a fear, if there's something here that with the Seven of Swords, you are feeling someone is, is not being honest or you cannot reveal much, this may be that you feel someone is busy with their own uh, work here. The High Priestess. I, I keep getting secrets here. Secrets and watching. Uh, I like the High Priestess because I feel like in the end, the best possible outcome that will be here is that you are going to find something that has been avoided. Some type of secrets are coming out here. Some type of uh, information are going to be out in the open. I want to see what the clarification is to know for sure what's going on. Um, let's see which deck do I want. Let me get this. <clears throat> but when I look at the page of source information and communication is very much strong here in, in this reading I feel and it has to do with some type of choices but all of these cards are kind of telling me that someone here wants to find out something that, that's how I see. And there's blockages. I don't know if you have blocked someone or you're trying to block a certain person. Eight of Cups. There's been a lot of disappointments. Like, you know, emotionally leaving things behind okay let's find out what is this king of pentacles you see that eight of cups wants to come out here the king of pentacles feels like they they are disappointed and emotionally withdrawn here what is this the devil wanted to come here just to let you know you see the page of pentacles i keep getting something that you wanted to learn something that you wanted to receive you might be disappointed that there's certain things here um we're not dealt with there's certain information here that you feel like you had to walk away from and you're dealing still with that because this is the overall situation Something that you, I don't know if you wanted here again to communicate with someone through social media or find out about a person here or a situation. It does not have to be about that, but I'm getting that there's some messages here. What is a page of swords? Okay, so this is someone from the past, Scorpio energy, six of cups. You, you are attached to a certain situation that you thought, again, was going to be different. I don't know if you avoided it, but they're still on your mind. There's still someone here that is coming from the past or a situation here that you still have some type of fond memories with. Watching them. What is the Eight of Wands? You see the Eight of Pentacles. You're hoping that uh, this information will help you or someone to progress, to improve. You wanted, uh, you know, to put work into this. What is this about?
The Queen of Swords. Okay. Someone here has been very detached. I keep getting that energy of the Queen of Swords and we have the King of Swords. You and this person as well may be kind of drifting or apart. But you were thinking that maybe if you acted quickly here, something will develop or you thought something will develop here. You're still, I keep getting that you want to, to kind of write to someone or you want to communicate with someone. This may be for some of you that you're waiting for. Um, if it is just a working situation, you're hoping that you're going to get some kind of news that will kind of progress here. What is the two of wands? Okay, so in the past, someone uh, was left out in the call. There was a choice here that left another person financially, uh, you know, abandoned here or otherwise. But there was someone that chose, made a choice that, you know, in, I, I don't feel like with the Five of Pentacles was the right choice. Or maybe you were waiting for this person to make a choice and that did not happen. Why do you have the Seven of Swords on your mind here? The Ten of Wands, ooh. I feel like uh, someone is a try, uh, trying to, um, there's no shortcut. And that seven of swords with the ten of wands is someone that is trying to leave this behind. Look, like it's someone that feels like I'm leaving here. I'm leaving. With, I don't know who, there was another sign that had the same energy, but I'm leaving. I'm leaving in the night. I don't want here. I'm avoiding. Is this avoiding of something here that feels very heavy? I don't know if it's a responsibility. I know that Capricorns are the ones here that always, you know, everything by by the book and rules and i don't know if you you feel like you can't leave this behind that you have to act a certain way that there's a lot um was it taurus that had this i feel but this is a seven of swords and uh the ten of wands is just someone that feels like okay i how do i act here there's too much at stake i'm almost but i'm getting like i need to leave here there's a lot of heaviness, but how? How do I avoid all of this situation? There's a lot of baggage that, uh, and depth here with this case. Though, again, I feel like here someone is trying the best situation to make it happen. In your mind, in your thinking, you want to avoid something, you want to leave something, you are almost at that finish line. What is the seven of wands? One more. Okay, so this is regarding family, regarding commitment. The blockages that are coming in has to do with some type of family and some type of commitment or marriage. Someone is trying here to overcome all of this. Like, I feel trapped. I have to overcome this. There's, uh, I don't know if this is because of your family, because of uh, money or, or establishment, but there's the blockages that you're like i'm gonna fight for this i'm gonna go overcome all of this even if right now i cannot do anything there's so many things you're getting a lot of eights by the way we got the eight of cups i feel like we have all the eights here which in a way is good because i feel like uh, and the sevens we have them actually so it's it's like overcoming the obstacles and challenges here Whatever it is, you know that even if you see right now avoiding this situation, there's something that still is piling up. But the immediate case is that someone is up to that challenge because, again, they have to look at what is this family, what is this commitment, what is this marriage. Unless someone here is kind of coming towards you and you feel like you're not going to trap me into this situation. What is the emperor? You do have a responsibility with this emperor in your attitude. You know, this is the boss, which, you know, astrologically here, I believe Capricorns are the boss of the of the zodiac. They rule the 10th house authority. What is the emperor? I know I'm not a Capricorn. Um, the emperor and the tower. Like I've been getting this combination lately a lot and it's it makes perfect sense because someone here is trying to stay in control where there's uh, something here of a foundation of habits of things that don't work. I don't know if you're afraid of this, you know, 
things coming down, upheaval, shock. It's just you're trying, you're trying to stand strong in whatever it is that you have built. At the same time, you feel like the best situation is this avoidance, Capricorn. Because there's a lot here when it comes uh, to what you have to leave behind. But to me, I see that as a control over a foundation because of what can happen. What is the King of Swords? Yeah, the King of Swords uh, uh, is trying to make that decision here in the past, the, a decision that someone was left out or abandoned here, or, you know, regarding a, a person that felt like uh, was abandoned. Now, the King of Swords is trying to look at it in an analytical way, as I mentioned. This is not a person that is driven by uh, passions or by emotions. Not that he does not have them or she. It's just that he's trying to think that way. The Two of Wands, though, is something that is very passionate. It's something that is long-term when it comes to this. What's my best choice? But that's what surrounds you. That Someone is trying to make this choice from the past here. Why you have the Eight of Pentacles? One more. Because you feel like there's going to be a, an opportunity, a chance here, if you or this person keep working at it, improving. You're hoping that things will progress here. There's still a chance here you're hoping for, financially or otherwise. What is this Ace of Pentacles, please? One more. And there you are with the emperor again, or your attitude. If it is regarding a working situation, you, you are putting this tough exterior here regarding someone. You feel like, okay, I have to concentrate on work and I have to keep order. And then I have to see where the opportunities is taking me. Again, the emperor wants that order, that control, uh, wants here to take care of whatever it is when it comes to people that fall under his or her domain. That's the energy there that you have. And again, it's, it's coming with a lot of work, a lot of opportunities as well. And you're hoping it's going to lead to that situation. If it is not about love, again, with something with the devil, it's like there's all these things that we want. But in the end, you know, we can you know, go a little bit here too much for our own uh, good goodness or health in this situation. So I feel like that's you're hoping to progress with this opportunity. But I do have um, still someone from the past here that is coming in. What is the High Priestess, the outcome? One more. Oh, the Five of Wands. One more. The Knight of Swords. There's... <laughs> There's such a hardship here regarding uh, someone making a decision and going with it. One more. The world, which is you. Some of you have uh, barriers and distance here with someone. One more and then we'll, I'll see. One more. The Hierophant, wow. For some of you, this may be very much. We have the Hierophant, though, and the High Priestess. So it is a connection between here the subconscious and the conscience or between two people that have a spiritual connection, but I don't see that they're together. I don't see if it is, again, you and someone else. It may be distance. There may be unfinished business. There's a loyalty, but there's a lot of struggle and restriction, maybe because of the distance, maybe because of someone here has to make this decision. The High Priestess still does not reveal much. No matter, like, we internally here may find, like, certain information. We might still keep it to ourselves. There's a struggle here between I want to blurt this out with the Knight of Swords or I want to go forward. And then is a moment here with uh, with a Hierophant that what it is here, the best situation. Again, there is a dedication. For some of you, you are going to be able to, to graduate from whatever it is right now that kind of keeps you emotionally withdrawn. There is going to be that understanding, that intuition, but it's coming with a lot of struggle, a lot of uh, restriction regarding some someone acting here. Because, again, of that distance um, with a higher fan, marriage, commitment, different religions, different views. That's the energy here. But you and someone have a very spiritual connection. 
So uh, I, I feel like, again, you are follow your intuition or you are going to see that your intuition was always right, even when it comes to these obstacles about these family matters or commitment here. There is a trapping energy that I'm getting a lot, though, with you uh, and uh, this situation. Like you feel trapped and you're trying to, to stand firm when it comes to your beliefs, when it comes, as I mentioned here, to your foundation. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.